From my school days, yo. From my school days, me know the place gon' shook. Love and respect to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers. Emerge Vlog there once again with another at an interesting topic. But before we get into this topic, remember our motto is we are the greatest. So if you want to be a part of the greatness, I implore you to subscribe. Also like, share and leave a comment. So as I see the thumbnail, you see the title, you know what we're here to talk about. We have to talk about massacre and alkaline. Now massacre and alkaline has been the center of um, the attention in dance and in recent times because everybody anticipates a clash between both artists and it seems as if that um expectation has been in ignite recently with a couple of songs that alkaline did alkaline do a couple of songs and them say my text shares me feel like some of them think they're not really shares but the fans them have it as shares because they are listen out for a clash now in another vlog yeah, me do make a comparison between both artists based on where their career were where they just started and based on where it is now and we are gonna see if them really um fit to clash against each other because we see artists tend to play levels game that one that's maybe got another one so we can't clash him and um vice versa so let quick kick it off now both artists start off from high school days i can as i can hear the intro yeah that are the first thing we want to outline both of them start off from early early stages we are here about alkaline you know from high school days as i said but it didn't take long for alkaline to make himself one of the big artists he got a lot of hit songs after he left recently, he just come out of high school, get a whole heap it songs after that with the whole controversy surrounding him. You know, he had um sclera lens. At that point he was telling fans that he was tattooed, tattooed in his eyeball and grabbed the attention of the fans. And another thing we gave him a lot of attention was the comparison that was made between him and Vibes Cartel. And you know, all of that couldn't be possible without talent and as you all know, Alkaline is a talented artist. Now, Massacre on the other hand has been an underground artist um, for most of his teenage years leading up to him early 20s. He was always known, but he never had the hit song to back it up because um, people always have made the comparison. As I say, he was underground, he was popular underground, one of the most popular underground artists artist in his time you know people always say yo massacre body have a youth name massacre him bad him bad him bad but he never have the songs them for um back it up as me say until later on in his career and that was after alkaline had gotten his big break you know alkaline first started out with a string of hit songs you have songs like um when i say come over baby looking at me i mean i know the title title for the song there songs like move mountain and then him have songs like him pack extra lessons champion boy and then massacre you know massacre came up as i say around about the same time um with alkaline or a little bit after alkaline that is big break but massacre was known before alkaline so obviously it take a longer time for birth for boss um Mathika, they have a song named Hardball and at the same time when Alkaline did that. But Alkaline did about five to six songs more than um, um, Massacre at the time. And then we see Massacre got a big collab with Vibes Cartel. You see me? And I think that collab, people, some people are say I hate Boss Massacre, but I never really say I hate Boss Massacre because Massacre had a little flair and had a little sparks before that collab. But it propelled him to a level, but I never say I hate Boss him. You see me? So, as I say, both of them fouled up. So, we are now. Them get them hit songs. Yeah, the two of them start go two to two. We see, um, in terms of gun song, we see Alkaline have songs like Badness It Named and um, 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. rather. Rather, 12 a.m. We see Massacre have song named Top Striker as gun song. Um, in terms of collaborations, we see Alkaline seems to have the bigger collaboration, arguably bigger collaborations we see Masik, um, Alkaline have collaboration with Sean Paul which um, Masika also have a collaboration with Sean Paul actually two collabs one with Sean Paul and Skilly Bang and one with Sean Paul alone as on Masika 438 album I think the one with Skilly Bang was on uh, Sean Paul's album so Sean Paul and Shaggy Alkaline have collab with Sean Paul and Shaggy but I think Masika want overseas collab. I think I in the Latin market. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. If any of you guys know Masika want song, I think a billboard song too, you know. I don't remember if I did. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But I'll, I don't remember um, um, how we do the collab with. But I think he have a good overseas collab. Maybe not popular to Jamaicans and Jamaica. But he have a collab boy. Do good overseas. 
You see me? In terms of stage show, Alkaline, Ali, Desha, because I'm having my own stage show and we see him pulling power in that aspect. Yeah, we see Massacre pulling power, but not single handedly because Massacre don't have a show for himself. So I think Alkaline and Ali, they know that aspect there. He have new rules, he keep new rules, Jamaica two times, and I think he keep it overseas two times as well, or probably one time. So when I see Massacre do not like that for sure, saying, yeah, he can pull out the fans them single handedly. Even though I think Alkaline feature other persons and his show and him keep it but a theme personal show so you know so predominantly a theme fans of my god dead so so him a lead um massacre in other aspect there in terms of stage performance i think both of them really need some 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 brushing up them 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 really good stage performers but i think they can do better in that aspect they don't reach mastery in terms of stage performance and that's my opinion actually most of the things here except for the collabs and so is my opinion and the final thing we're going to look upon when compare, comparing these artists is, is clashing and people may say Ray and people may say Tay I'm not the biggest fan of Vanna, Vanna Alkaline but I just ask yet my facts when I observe I feel like Massacre is known as a more hardcore artist Massacre people are say Massacre bad people quick for say Massacre bad are the baddest young artists people even go far as say him are the baddest artist full stop in a dance hall in a bar and none you have fans of say so but I tend to disagree with that, you see me? Most people are going to disagree with that, but I say, you have people who say, I saw it, but arguably. But I feel like Alkaline are leading in terms of clash, because he proved himself. We say Alkaline face off with the six them when the six them was hot. Not that Squash didn't know for any um, clashing or whatever, because he was young in that aspect of the music as well. But Squash, they have him gun song them, where they had to say, yes, Squash could have done gun song, and once again, the gun song, you will do good clash song. So we see um, Alkaline face off with Squash. At the time, Chronicle got involved in the clash. And you know how that turned out. Arguably, people say Alkaline win, others say Squash them win. But improve himself in the clash. We see Popcorn in the willing to take on Popcorn, him call him Microwave, him call him a bag of things. You see me in a song, direct. I think Popcorn did back away from that clash. I think he did do a little subliminal song. I think a stray dog that sang the name of him, go suck your mother dog. That was a hit song that Popcorn got from the Alkaline feud, but Alkaline did a go haul out, Popcorn did a back away. So Alkaline proved himself in another aspect. Even Vibes Cartel, even though Vibes Cartel was like a one foot man running in a two foot man race at that point because he is and was at the time incarcerated, you know, he never he can get to where, say what he wants to say and once the authorities them hear him say certain things in a song, it took them to clamp down upon him because when he said, kill him with the little blind boy, when he was over there that clash, and he said, kill him with the little blind boy, you know, he was making reference to Alkaline, but when the song the drop, he said, cartel get moved, them find cell phone in him, sell bag of things, so as I say, he was a one foot man running in a two foot man way, so he was at a little disadvantage, but we still have to give Alkaline credit for um, Face up, um, or see, look at face off against the world boss. You know, all kinds of them things. He's a lyrical mean machine, as me or one journalist described him at one point. So, if you try and try to face up with him, it was, it, take, it took a lot of courage. He was young at the time, and me have to give him credit for that. Um, um, Massacre, on the other hand, as me say, people have him as a lyrical, this and the body artist and the hardcore artist, but him not, him not really prove himself. We see him back away from a clash with Ken recently and it seems as if he's back away from the alkaline slasher and with all the analysis we you hear me make so far as you can hear um, if you are going to get anybody the edge I must alkaline even though um, Massacre probably be the more at a one at this point in dance hall 2023 where we then are now June but alkaline has proved himself to be um, you know, a force to be reckoned with, and I think Alkal Masika can play the levels game with him. Probably with Skeng them, cause Skeng them he knew, but I feel like him not to do it with Alkaline, you see me? So Masika not really have no quote unquote dope to him name. We see him clash Kaleida, Kaleida was known for more of girl song. Kaleida wasn't a hardcore artist, but yeah, that's a clash. You see me? We see Demarco who is a very talented artist also, one of the most talented artists in dancehall, but he wasn't known for no, hardcore things. So, I mean, I think Masika can use them there as no bragging point, no bragging rights and a proving point. They say, yo, him kill me, I'm saying a song, him kill too much career. And we rate Masika, don't get me wrong, but I just a state facts writer. So, as I say, he's not the biggest Alkaline fan, but um, history cannot be rewritten, and you have to just state facts once they are there, you see me? So, 
With all of you see that clash, I mean, I think Massacre can play the levels game with Alkaline, probably with somebody else. So, with all of you see that clash, even though at this point it seems as if it clash now, got and most of the recent interview with Massacre and Beanie Man, Beanie Man has said that time passed and Massacre agree with him. But, I guess we can keep a hope, hope. we can keep a fingers crossed and, crossed and hopes up because I don't know if the pressure will get to Massacre and I just have to give in and give the fans what they really desire, what they needed. At one point we see him post a picture and say, yo, the people them say the word and the people them say the word, they're ready for the clash. I'm still nah, do nothing. You see me? I see Alkaline seems like him, him want the clash, you see me? Because fans just say, yo, Alkaline is, is at a desperate stage. But I don't, I don't think Alkaline is at a desperate stage because Alkaline have him songs them, as I stated in a recent vlog. Alkaline have him fans them, who is always rooting for him, one of the most dedicated fan base in a dance hall is a vendetta fan base so uh, probably he won't prove himself against the titan where him um, have massacre as a, as a tyrant where him name him song you see me so you know them title are big title so Alkaline you know, won't prove himself say that him are the real titan you see me as him do a song with him and say my boss here boss you know so he probably won't prove to the fans them say him is actually the bigger boss as him so i'm gonna leave it here so don't forget to like share and subscribe to emerge vlog and tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend say emerge vlog of one of the hottest new youtube channel relatively new we're there around for quite a while now but we still consider ourselves to be new so then if you come over here become a part of the team by liking sharing watching the video till the end and subscribe you know become a part of the team because you're not going to just watch one video and then gone you're not going to get notified when the next one drop so just hit the bell and then you get notified when the next video drop and as I say like share subscribe so we're going to leave it here sir emerge vlog i'm out